Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the geometric mean theorem. The theorem states that in a right triangle, the length of the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse is the geometric mean of the length of the segments of the hypotenuse. To illustrate, let's say we have our right triangle. Let's say we have triangle A, B, C. And this is our 90 degree angle, or the right angle. Now, to get the altitude, so we need to connect from the 90 degree angle going to the hypotenuse. Let's say, let's name it point D. Now, given DC, that is 4 cm, and AD, that is 9 cm, how are, we, how are we going to find BD? So let's say that is X. So following the geometric mean theorem, BD, the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse is the geometric mean. So geometric mean is the square root of the length of our hypotenuse. So we have AD times DC. We need to get the geometric mean. So we have the square root, then multiply our given. So we have square root of AD, that is 9, times DC is 4. Square root of 9 times 4, that is 36. 36 is a perfect square number, so square root of 36, that is 6. So BD measures 6. Yeah. Okay. That is the geometric mean theorem. Let's have another example. Now let's have our example number 2. We have our triangle, right triangle, WXY, and our altitude, XZ. So if WZ is equal to 4 and WY is equal to 12 find WX WX now okay we're not going to use X for that because we have our angle X here we're going to use A now following our theorems so we have three similar triangle here so wx is equal to the square root of 4 times 12 okay so we now have square root of 4 times 12 that is 48 now square root of 48 Factors of 48, which is a perfect square number, so that is 16 times 3. So, square root of 16, that is 4 square root of 3. So, Wx is 4 square root of 3. So, that is our geometric mean similarity theorem. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.